This film is about a young woman who is targeted by two assassins. We've been tasked with wanting to utilize DJI's cutting edge technology for image stabilization. An action film is very risky in the essence that you have a lot of different components that are happening at once. You want to try to have as many cameras, as many angles. Jeremy um, and I, we discuss the scene and I'll figure out on how to realize that shot in the best way. The benefit of using a, a drone for those car chasing scenes was that we could have a car coming into frame below the drone. That wouldn't have been possible with a regular camera. We have a very small aerial team here, in fact. It's basically the gimbal operator Bennett and me as a pilot. We're super flexible, so on location, we can instantly change the movement without moving dolly track. We can just lie there and, and use a different movement. And the entire time, we never wanted to compromise the creatives. We wanted to find a way to include all of this action, all these shots into it. And the only way that we were able to achieve this was with using DJI's gear. So at the beginning of the film, we see the swordsman. He's our Japanese assassin in his meditative space. He's got this lair with all these beautiful lanterns hanging down. And it was a bit of a complex shot. The way we did it, we had dolly track, we had an offset arm, a jib, and it needed to be very precisely done. But with the combination of the Ronin 2 and the master wheels, we were able to dial in these moves. And Demir was able to have this real complex shot that we were able to repeat and get very specific. Dolly's good, you guys go that way. Amir Makri, he has a standard and he's basically pushed this whole production to work at that level, including the gear. Ronan, it's been very helpful, and since Jeremy has used it in the past, he relies on it. Most of the time, we'll wind up using smaller equipment, like the DJI Ronin, that would sub out for a dolly. It definitely helped with uh, speeding the process up, get more shots at the faster pace. Very quickly, you can do certain moves. You could use Steadicam, but now you use Ronin, it's, it's just as effective. Right now, we are supposedly in Germany outside of a prison where our German prisoner is escaping and has somehow gotten a hold of a guard uniform and made his way outside. Now, the way we're doing this is we've mounted the Ronin 2 on the end of a jib arm, which is in turn on a dolly. So we're gonna start looking at a clean image of the prisoner walking away from the prison, dolly back through the passenger window of a car, tilt down, see the envelope on the seat, keep pulling back up the driver's side of the car. He gets in, closes the door, and he's on his way. We are prepping for a car stunt. We're only gonna be able to do this stunt once. We're gonna be filming it from several different angles. We're gonna be having Osmos inside the car. We're gonna have an X7 on the ground. And we're gonna be shooting him with drones. We strap the Osmos to inside of a car that's gonna do a stunt. So we kind of use it as a crash camera. It's kind of like we're, we're experimenting with this stuff. So, and then, you know, you got some interesting stuff out of it. Here we are, we're on our big alley set. Uh, this is a replica of the market that we were shooting at earlier, and we're gonna capture this with three different cameras. We're gonna have a wide lens on a lock-off, and we're gonna have two tighter lenses that are controlled by the master wheels for one, and then the DJI Force for the others. The reason why we have the Force on the longer lens is because the movement is so fast for the wheels, and so the DJI Force is able to keep up with that. This thing is great. Honestly, surprised me the most about this. There's no delay. I can whip this thing around and the motors are strong enough to keep up with my movements and the transmission time is so fast. Three, two, one, action! It's always good to uh, embrace the new technology and play around with this stuff. I hope that filmmakers are inspired by some of the creative ways in which we use this equipment, given the creative possibilities that DJI Gear affords filmmakers of all stripes and levels. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they come up with next.